I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to update or flash the ES Pixel Stick firmware using a brand new web-based installer tool. You'll be the first to learn about this new tool as it is a Christmas Light Guy exclusive. Are you running an outdated version of ES Pixel Stick firmware on your device and want to upgrade using a simple, easy to use web-based installer? If so, let me show you how. Martin Mueller, the lead developer on the ES Pixel Stick firmware project, has been working on a new web-based installer. He told me about the new installer and I offered to help test and create a video to get the word about, out about this new tool. First of all, it is a web-based tool, so there's no need to download and unzip the firmware from the GitHub repository, and there's no need to use the Java Flash tool any longer. There are still a couple items that you will need to use the new tool. First, you'll need a USB cable to connect to your computer and to the device you're going to flash. The exact USB cable depends on your computer USB port and the device USB port. Second, you'll need a computer with at least one USB port and a USB to serial driver installed. Most modern operating systems should auto detect the USB device you plug into it. However, if it doesn't, I'm not going to cover the installation of a USB to serial driver since this is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The new web-based installer will provide some tips and driver information if it doesn't detect the USB to serial driver, and there are other sources on the internet available for you to reference. Third, the computer is going to also need a recent version of the Chrome browser installed. The new web-based installer only works with the Chrome browser. I'm going to flash a Quinn LED Dig Quad ESP32 AE Plus module. If you're flashing a different device, don't worry. The process is the same except for the device or platform field setting. More on this later in the demo. For this demo, I'll be using a standard USB 3 to USB C cable to update the Dig Quad AE Plus module. Let's get started. First, plug in your USB cable to your device, then to your USB port on your computer. Next, I'll move over to my computer to continue the installation process. I've opened up my Chrome browser and typed in the following URL. HTTPS colon slash slash ESPixelStickWebFlasher.from-ct.com colon 5000. This will bring up the web-based installer tool. If you're familiar with the Java-based tool, then the web-based installer looks very similar. It basically has the same fields that you will need to fill in. Let's look at the first section called version. Version only has one field called version. The version select box allows you to choose from a few recent firmware versions. In this case, 4.0 beta 3, 4.0 beta 4, 4.0 beta 5, and four CI recent CI builds. I will choose the latest CI build. The next section is board. In this section, there's only one field called platform. The platform select box is dynamic based on the version that's chosen. Let me explain. For the latest CI version, if you click on here, there's many boards or platforms supported. If I go and select 4.0 beta 3, it only supports a few boards or platforms. Let me go back, select my latest. For platform, I'm going to select Quinn LED Quad AE Plus 8 port. The next section is called configuration. In this section, there are two fields, host name and device name. The host name is used by the network to identify the device. The device name is the name used by Alexa, Q, MQTT, and FPP. I will enter both of these as digquad-ae02.
The next section is Wi-Fi configuration. This is where you would enter your SSID and password for your wireless connection. Note, there is a security concern that you may want to be aware of here. Let me explain. If you enter your SSID and password on this screen and press upload, the firmware image is built and stored on a secure server with your SSID and password embedded in the image. Then it is uploaded to the device. The image is deleted after 30 minutes. There has been some concerns about this method of embedding the SSID and password into the image. However, I will show you a method how not to enter your SSID and password on the web-based installer, but to enter it into the device using the AP mode. I will leave the SSID and password blank for now. The next field is Client Timeout. I will leave this set as the default of 15. The next field is AP SSID. I will set this to DIG Quad AE02AP. This is the name of the access point created by your device that you will connect to once the device is booted. More on this later. The next field is AP Password. I will leave this blank for now. In order to save time, I'm not going to review all the options in this section. However, see the description below for details on each field. I will leave the AP Timeout set to the default of 120. The same with the AP Wi-Fi channel set to 1. I will leave the Use DHCP checked, Reboot on Fail unchecked, AP Fallback, you definitely want this checked, and Stay in AP Mode unchecked. The next section is Ethernet Configuration, which is optional. These fields only apply if your device is using Ethernet or has an Ethernet connection. My device is wireless, so these parameters do not apply. I will leave the defaults checked. Once you've filled in all the fields, press the Flash Device button to begin the process. A menu will appear to select your USB to serial port. If you don't see your USB to serial port in the list, click the Cancel button and information dialog will appear with some helpful tips and USB to serial driver information. My USB to serial driver was listed, so let me start the process again. Okay, I will go ahead and select my USB to serial port and then press the connect button. This will bring up the ES Pixel Stick dialog. Click on install ES Pixel Stick. You will need to confirm, so click install and it will start the installation process. This may take a bit. It will first erase and then upload. I will speed through this process If everything goes as planned, you will see an Installation Complete dialog. Click Next to continue. It brings up the ES Pixel Stick dialog again. This time press the Logs and Console button. A terminal or console will appear containing useful log information from your device. Since I did not enter an SSID and password for the device to connect to, it will go into AP mode. Here you can see the SSID of dig-quad-ae02-ap. Now connect your Wi-Fi to that access point on your computer. Let me do that on my computer. Give me just a second. Okay, I've connected my computer to the device access point. Back at the console, you can notice it says 
connected to STA with IPA 192.168.4.1. This means your computer connected to the access point. The IP address of 192.168.4.1 is the IP address of the device. On another tab from your browser, type in the following address. 192.168.4.1 uh, and press enter. This will bring up the ES Pixel Stick firmware UI now running on your device. Click the Network Setup menu and enter your SSID and password for your wireless connection. This will set your SSID and password directly on the device. Let me enter my show network. SSID and password. I'll turn off reboot and on fail and stay in AP mode. Let me save my changes. Okay. Let's go back to the console and see what happens. Notice it has connected to my show network, connecting to LS, which is my light show, as digquad-ae02, and it has the proper IP address. This is how you update the ES Pixel Stick firmware without entering your wireless network SSID and password into the web-based installer. Your device is now updated and ready to use. The next time you want to update the ES Pixel Stick firmware on your device, I suggest using the new web-based installer tool. You no longer have to download and unzip the firmware from the GitHub repository, nor do you have to use the Java-based Flash tool any longer. This simple, easy-to-use web-based installer tool is the way to go. Remember, if you're concerned with entering your wireless network SSID and password into the web-based installer tool, be sure to follow the steps in this video to enter your wireless network SSID and password directly into the device using the access point mode. You heard it first with this exclusive from the Christmas Light Guy. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you have to do is press the subscribe button below. Thank you.